Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm up in Albir today. We're gonna do a quick walk up to the lighthouse in the uh, Serra Galata, and then we're gonna explore the town, grab a bite to eat, check out some Roman ruins, and see what else we can get into. So we woke up early this morning and grabbed the number 10 out of Benidorm at about quarter to seven. It took us about a half an hour to get out here. The bus will run you a Euro 60 each to get on. Now we grabbed it on Avenida Mediterraneo near the old town, but you can also catch it in the new town and anywhere really by the British kind of tourist zone and up towards Iceland and then it will head out to Alfaz and then of course it stops right here on the beach in Albir. All right, so we're up at uh, Park Natural Serra Galata. We're gonna hike out to the lighthouse and there's some other ruins around the way. It's about 2.5 kilometers there and back. So we're gonna start this early and get out there. There's lots of ample parking up here and uh, it's about a 15 minute walk up from the bus stop by the promenade. And as you're going about your walk out to the lighthouse, there's uh, some offshoot paths that will bring you up to some look-offs. And if you take a look around, there's supposed to be tons of fossils here in the area. And it was once a hideout for Berber pirates back in the day. So really kind of interesting. I'm just up to my first look-off. I'll turn the camera around and show you. Check this out. That's pretty stunning. So this is one look off you're not gonna to wanna to miss. It's right before you enter the tunnel to go to the other side. I'll turn it around. Look at that view. Absolutely stunning. Then they have all the places here marked along the bottom and their uh, distances. Really, really beautiful out here. That's Altea off in the distance. And then way over there, I believe is uh, Kelpe. If you look closely right here, here is, there's a sign right behind me. This is the uh, fossils of the bivalve mollusks right here in this area. I'll try to get closer. All right, and right behind me is our first glimpse of the lighthouse, originally built in 1863, and it used to be this narrow, uh, steep, rocky cliff that you had to traverse to get up to it. In 1961, they built the uh, path with the tunnel coming through, so much easier, and now, of course, it's a park, so quite nice. All right, so I come across this little route here, and if you take it down, it's about 700 meters to a cove, and they actually have some buoys out in the water. Looks like you can go for a swim. It's the Cala de la Mina route, and it goes just down here. It's pretty rough. It's not like this paved path that I've been on the whole time. Not gonna do it today, but might be, uh, might be a cool little cove down there. Probably very private. I don't see anybody on the trail. So I'm up at another kind of rugged route here. It goes down to an old mine from the 1800s. There's still some ruins of the uh, wagons where they used to, uh, like the structure to move the wagons and the mining product up and down the hill. And uh, yeah, it's not too far, maybe a couple hundred meters down. It's a bit rugged though, but uh, might be a cool little walk to uh, do some time when you're up here. So we made it up to the lighthouse. There's a little sign over here saying to keep an eye out for uh, bottlenose dolphins. And right out in the water behind me, looks like there's a little aquaculture farm. Not sure what they're farming. Hopefully that shows up with the sun is just blaring, but straight out there, there's like the rings of the aquaculture farm and the views are fantastic. So there is a little interpretation center up here, but unfortunately it doesn't open till nine in the morning and we're just a bit early. We wanted to get this walk over before the sun got really, really hot. But uh, I'll post the hours in the description. Uh, they change in the winter also.
All right, so I made it down to the beach here and uh, it's a bit more rocky, like a beach stone compared to like a nice sandy beach, but still gorgeous nonetheless. And if you look behind me out on the edge of the cliff, that's the lighthouse that we walked to this morning uh, through the uh, nature park. Absolutely stunning walk, highly recommend doing that. So we're right here on the verge of Altea, uh, just on the border of it. So I think we're gonna walk around, see what's happening here, maybe grab a little bite to eat. And uh, yeah, let's continue on. All right guys, so we just stopped for a little drink here along the beach at Goa. It's like a little beachside bar, really nice. Check out these views. All right, so we made it up to the museum here. It's an old Roman villa that they have unearthed here. It's the Museo al Air Libre. We'll take a look around. They have uh, some of the old Roman baths, some of the villa um, ruins. They have like an olive oil press. And so we'll get going and we'll have a little peek, see what's here. So it says by the seventh century, the villa was in complete ruins, but never fully abandoned. People used it um, as a, like a farming area and also to grind grains and stuff like that. And they also dismantled it to go and build new properties. So quite interesting. So the area behind me that's still under excavation is uh, where the canal led to the cistern to get water into there but they're still trying to figure out where the water has come from. It's not fully excavated. And as they are excavating, they're finding old rubbish pits from centuries and centuries ago. So quite a bit of work, but it's uh, still ongoing and it's pretty cool to actually come see all this. All right guys, just finished up at the little museum here. At the end, you can go in, they have some artifacts uh, and a little bit of information on how they uh, did the excavation. And there's also a little VR program, probably runs about 10 to 15 minutes, gives you kind of like a story of how the Romans were up here and stuff. Anyways, overall fantastic. Admission is completely free. So highly recommend coming up and checking this place out. All right, so I gotta wrap the video up here in Benidorm. As soon as we finished lunch, the number 10 showed up to take us back home. So we had a fantastic lunch over at Terraza Eucalyptus. Uh, I went with the Rabo de Toro or the Bull's Tail. Absolutely phenomenal, highly recommend that. So unless you're heading out to do the hike up to the uh, lighthouse, don't bother heading out early. There's only a few places you can grab breakfast and most things don't open till about 1300. And a lot of the um, like full service restaurants, they don't open till like 17 or 1800 at night. So don't bother going out early unless if you're doing the hike. Anyways, highly recommend you take a trip out there whenever you decide to go. It is a great place for a day trip outside of Benidorm. Highly enjoyed it. Check out Terraza Eucalyptus if you're looking for a spot for lunch. Anyways, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.